Is the Antichrist alive today? 1 John 2 verses 18 through 19 says, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. The Bible talks about the Antichrist that shall be revealed in the last days before the Great Tribulation commences. Currently, there are questions as to whether the Antichrist is alive and already in the world waiting for the time of his full manifestation. Whether or not the Antichrist is alive, we do not know for sure. All we know from Scripture is that the Antichrist will come, and the signs of his coming were explicitly spelt out in Scripture. Apostle John talked about the Antichrist and many Antichrists. He said that the Antichrist will come, but there are already many Antichrists. This means that the Antichrist that shall be revealed in the last days will be preceded by four running Antichrists who would prepare his way. These people are people who are energized by the very spirit of Antichrist. In the same way that a believer is filled with the Holy Spirit, a person can also be filled with the spirit of the Antichrist. In the same way a person can be influenced by the Holy Spirit, a person can also be influenced by the spirit of the Antichrist. The world as a society is opposed to the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is a trend that's been happening for a long time where society is moving away from the Lord Jesus Christ. We are living the age of the great falling away. The culture at large now is anti-God. That's not what our country was like 60 years ago. But as time passes, the world is becoming more and more anti-God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 says, For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. We can see that the mystery of lawlessness is gradually gaining ground in the world. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. My grandfather told me that in his time at school in America, you would find the Bible in classrooms. Finding Bibles in classrooms was a normal occurrence in his generation. And he even stated that years ago, when he traveled to the United Kingdom, he would stay in hotel rooms and would find a Bible in every hotel room he stayed in. But the spirit of the Antichrist is gaining more and more ground across the world. Bibles have been removed from schools and hotels. There's a general decline in the fear of God all across the world. And the reason is simple, because the spirit of the Antichrist is preparing the way for the man of sin to arrive. People have this strange perception that when the Antichrist arrives, he'll have to overhaul the world and make a major shift in the way the world operates. But that's not what will happen. When the Antichrist arrives onto the world scene and takes center stage in society, the world will be ready and prepared for him. Just look at the general trend of society. You don't need to be a theologian to see that these are the last days that Jesus spoke of. Matthew chapter 24 verses 3 through 8 says, As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Are we not seeing deception in the world? Are we not seeing wars and rumors of wars? Are we not seeing kingdoms against kingdoms? Are we not seeing famines and earthquakes in various places? The Antichrist is coming. And I would not be surprised one bit if he's alive in some part of the world right now, being prepared to take center stage. His spirit is in this world, and his spirit is getting braver and braver. His spirit has become more and more emboldened. These are all signs that the reveal of the man of sin is closer than ever. 
Even now, we cannot judge whether the Antichrist is alive. The Antichrist could be alive, but we don't know for sure. Far back as his days of the forerunners of the Antichrist were already available on Earth, well, then one may think that the Antichrist is already in the world. However, we do not have enough evidence to prove that. The writing of John helps us to understand that one of the signs of the end time is the operation of Antichrists, who will prepare the arrival of the great Antichrist. In fact, John stated that some of these Antichrists went out of the church. Being given to apostasy, they became emissaries of the Antichrist. What the Bible tells us about the coming Antichrist is that before he begins his full operation, the Holy Spirit will long be restraining the work of evil on earth. This means that the mighty working of the Holy Spirit is a great restriction to the operation of the Antichrist. If it was not for the Holy Spirit restraining lawlessness, this world would be in a mess. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, this world would be full of darkness. It would be full of lawlessness. But thank God for the restrainer. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 5-8 through 8 says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Paul said to the Thessalonian church that before the Antichrist will fully come to operation, the restraining force of the Holy Spirit will be taken away. So what is currently holding back the force of the Antichrist is the operation of the Holy Spirit on earth. This is the last prophecy that needs to happen before the Antichrist is revealed. Once the restrainer is taken away, the mystery of lawlessness will work in full force. We do not know the time that the ministry of the restrainer will elapse on earth because the Bible's silent regarding this. Some theologians argue that it'll happen when the rapture happens, but no one knows for sure. If the rapture will take place very soon, then we can presume that the Antichrist is alive now. But if Jesus tarries to come, then we can probably say that the Antichrist is not yet in the world. We cannot say for sure which one is true. However, we know from the writing of Paul to the Thessalonian believers that the Antichrist will be in the world before the rapture of the saints, but his operation will have been restrained by the power of the Holy Spirit. The sign that the coming of the Antichrist is at hand is that the mystery of lawlessness will be at work in the world. Right now, we know that this mystery is already at work. The high level of perversion and lawlessness in our society today is just a reminder that the Antichrist will soon come. The emissaries and forerunners of the Antichrist will help to promote lawlessness before the coming of their master. Some of these Antichrists will rise from the church to corrupt the truth of God's word and to deceive people into sin. We find such instance in the church in Pergamum, which Jesus addressed in Revelation 2, 14 through 15, saying, But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. The increasing level of sinfulness and nonchalance to the things of God are pointers to the fact that the Antichrist is coming. We do not know for sure whether the Antichrist is alive today, but we know for sure that the Antichrist will be revealed in due season. Therefore, instead of bothering ourselves about the existence or the time of the Antichrist coming, it's better for us to make preparations for the return of the Lord. Before the restrainer is taken away and gives way to the Antichrist's full operation on earth, we can actually walk with God. We are already in the last days, and all the signs of Christ's return and the coming of the Antichrist has been fulfilled. This means that the rapture could happen any moment from now, and the Antichrist will take full charge of the world and execute great wickedness upon the inhabitants of the world. Only those whose faith are founded in Christ will escape the great tribulation and the wickedness of the coming Antichrist.